Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. I'm getting ready for a birthday party today, and I really want to try the new Glam Light Eye Icing Ultimate Base for Vibrant Eyeshadow. I bought a couple of shades, but today I want to see and try the buttercream and this white frosting. So this is the eyesight outside packaging. Now I tried the P. Louise base. That's it's very popular and you everybody uses it. But I have very oily eyelids and it didn't work for me. It didn't even work for me when I set it with powder. And usually I always, not usually, but I always set my base with powder. I know that that, that will make the eyeshadow not look as vibrant as it would if it was a wet base. But if you have oily skin and oily eyelids, you need to set that base. So today I am actually going to set one of the eyes and one of the eyes I'm not going to set. And that scares me because maybe at the end of the day, when I'm at the dinner party, it's just family, so it's not a big huge. My sister's husband has his birthday dinner, so we are going on to my sister. But guys, I could look like a mess at the end of the day. But if you want to see my review, then please keep on watching. So uh, I love trying new um, eyeshadow bases. I love, love, love trying that. And not all of them work for me. Most of them, them don't work for me. And it's because I have oily eyelids and eyeshadow has really hard time to stick on my oily eyelids. So I am kind of interested to try this. And I am going to set it with the powder. This is the blotting powder from Linda Halberg Cosmetics. Oh my God, if you have oily skin, this is a magic powder. This really makes everything look smooth, more mattified, keeps your oil in control. I just love this powder. It comes, I've used it a lot, it's very used. Uh, it comes with a puff down here. It's a beautiful powder, I will put the link down below. I'll try to remember and be better putting a list, a list with all of the products that I'm using, but guys can't wait to try this product. I really hope this works because P. Louise base didn't work for me. The eyeshadows looked amazing on it, but it just didn't work. So I am going to take this shade. Like I said, this is the third shade in the collection. They have a couple of shades. This is the buttercream. I bought first, second and the third shade, but I am kind of curious. I don't want it to be too light. So... I'm going to use, this is the Linda Halber brush 305. And like I said, I'm going to set one of the eyes, this eye I'm going to set. Oh, this is a perfect shape for me. And I'm not going to set the second one. It has medium coverage, which, which is really good. Let's see, I need my mirror. Let's tap that in. It covers most of my discoloration, not everything. I'm so excited to try this product. So I'm going to set this and I'm going to use the top that comes with this powder. I don't want it to crease. So this is how it looks on the eye. It definitely, like I said, it definitely covered a little bit, but not too much. You can still see my discoloration. And I don't know if that's the plus or minus, but it is what it is. Then on my left eye lid, I'm going to apply it again with the brush with the product that I have on my hand and I'm going to blend with the finger and I'm not going to set it. I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow directly. I will start with this eye just to kind of, you know, put some powder so it doesn't crease too much. So let's blend it with the finger. I always use my finger to tap in the excess product. Uh, it really looks, looks nice on my eyelids. 
doesn't cover everything, but it still looks very natural. So I really like the texture. I love how easy it is to work with it. So I am going to go in with Cash Beauty's Treasure Palette because I want it to go with my dress. And I am going to go in with Script, this color. And I'm going to use brush from Cash Beauty 06. And we are going to go in with the eye that we didn't set just to put some powder on top. So let's see. Oh it's, oh, it's so smooth. Hopefully this eye won't look like a mess at the end of the day. Oh, the eyeshadow goes on so beautifully and blends very nice. And this brush is also so good. So we can see that the pigment on this side when I didn't set it goes on so smooth and nice and blends beautifully. I'm still going to go in and build up that shade even more. Let's go on the other eye where we set the base and see if it's going to go on as smooth and on this eye. It does blend very nice on this side but we set it with the powder. Though you can see it does need more time to build up the pigment because it's not wet base but it doesn't bother me if i need to set this with the powder to make it work because peelies like i said in the beginning didn't work for me even if i set it so i compare these two i don't have the peelies because i it, i didn't make it work i really tried i don't know if i put it somewhere or if i just got rid of it but it's blending very nice on this eye and it's very light base so I feel like it's a little bit stickier here because we didn't set it so I am going to change the brush and I am going in with this brush this is number seven from Cash Beauty and I do want to go in with this shade here in the palette burnt and we are going in with the shade that we didn't set in directly into the crease and try to dip it up. So this is going on very nice and it's pigmented and it blends beautifully, it's smooth, it's not patchy. I love it. So I do open my eyes to kind of go a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded eyes, so I want my deeper color, not the deepest, but the second deep, to actually go above my natural crease. That will open my eye even more. Let's go with the burnt shade on the side where we set it. Set the base with the powder. Come speak to me. It also goes on very nice. I can't see any difference though maybe it's just as just like a shade deeper on the side where we didn't set it but still I feel like it goes on as smooth as nice and blends like a dream on the other side too so it, this is I feel like it's going to be a decision for me setting it or not setting it depending on how it's going to wear during the day. I just go in with the first brush and try to, you know, blend everything again. I'm going to switch to the shade number, shade, not shade, brush number eight from Cash Beauty. And I am going to go in with Wreck, this shade here. I just love this palette and this pigmentation. I'm just... the up this part this looks stunning so it really blended beautifully on the side where we didn't set the base and 
and it also blends very nice on this side where we did set it so I'm going to go back and forward to the brushes that we used before just to blend the edges a little bit you know make everything look smooth and nice okay so this is how everything looks i'm going to go in with another brush this is so and kayla kayla collection brush this is like a flat brush i want to go in in this uh, tarnish color the shimmery one this is like a bronze shade i love this shade and put it in This is on side where we set the base. Goes on very smooth. Let's go switch to the other side. To the unset side. And I'm going to go in the shade Treasure. This shade in the center with the same brush. I think I need to wet this one. Because I'm going to have some fallout, so we are going to wet this. I'm going to use my face mist from Goodie Box. So I'm going back with the same brush and just switch the side and go back to the first shade that we used to kind of make it more pop because I do want to see this shade on the eyes. I don't want to cover it too much because I just love how it looks. Then I'm going to clean the brush again and I am going to go in this uh, gemstone shade up here, the first shade. Oh, this is a very crumbly shade. So let's wet the brush and I'm going to apply this here. So we have all three shades. So I'm going to go back with this work dog shade just to kind of, you know, fix the edges a little bit. Go back with this one and just blend the edges a little bit more okay so far it looks the same i feel like the pigmentation is the same i can't see any difference this uh, this side we did set it with some powder this side we didn't set it with some powder but it still looks as pigmented as be beautiful on both sides so i am going to go and fix rest of my makeup and uh, we'll do i'll speed up the process i will Try to remember to put everything, link everything down below. So let's start putting some makeup on. I just want to, before we start, sorry guys. I just want to show you that right now it's 12.20 p 12.20. So I am going to uh, start counting it from now on because the makeup eye up there, the lids are finished. So I think it's fair to start counting the time from now. So. It's all about how you were with my parents. You ever changed their mind? Cause you were sweet and looking like you care, boy. That was hard to find.
and I'm with you, yeah, nothing really matters, don't need money or time.
Okay guys, so it's right now, let me show you, 13.04 and I'm on my way to go out. This is the final look. Now, the eyeshadow looks so smooth and beautiful on both sides. This is the side where we set the primer and this is the side where we didn't set the primer. So far they look really good, they didn't start creasing, everything looks nice and pigmented, so I'm going to go on with my day and when I come back today, tonight, I'll do a check-in to tell you and see how this eyeshadow primer actually lasted on my oily eyelid. So see you in a couple of hours. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. It's 8.30 p.m. So I'm just gonna leave my phone. I didn't touch up, I didn't touch my face, I didn't do anything, even my hair looks like a mess right now. Let's look at the eyeshadow and see which side worked better. If the side where we set looked better or unset side. So let's see. I'm really surprised because it's been very hot that it didn't smudge. My makeup looks really, really good. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of shine, but after so many hours wearing this makeup in this weather, I'm surprised that it's still on my face, that it didn't melt or anything. So let's look at the... Ooh, my mascara to start transforming. Can you see? Mm, doesn't look good, but we are going to remove this makeup suit, so let's just see. Let's see the side where we set the base with the powder. It looks good. It star it did fade here. It didn't crease, but it did fade a little bit here in this line where my this part of the eye where my upper skin of the lid, you know, goes, you know, covers this part. Just a small line. I'm going to come very close so you can see. This side where we didn't set the primer, it didn't crease, though it did fade here on the end, and it fade uh, also in the crease, but it doesn't look terrible. I wouldn't be embarrassed to see anybody with this makeup except that my mascara transformed uh, because I'd be sweating like a idiot. Let me just come closer so you can see. This is the eye where we set and this is the eye where we didn't set the primer. Can you see the difference? So I have to say that I really, really like this. This worked so beautifully on me. It looked much better than the um, P. Louise base. P. Louise, P. Louise I tried so many times. I tried to set it in different ways, uh, with different powders, and it just didn't want to work. What I liked about P. Louis is that it was full, full coverage. This wasn't, this isn't full coverage. This is more like medium coverage. Maybe you can build it up. I will try to play more with it and build it up, but I really, really love these. These are so good, much better than the um, P. Louis for my oily, oily eyelids, and I'm really surprised. Uh, I really like how my eyes look. This eye where we did set, it looks more vibrant. I don't know, I just feel like both of the eyes look really good. Maybe this is more shimmery than this, I don't know. I just, I don't know if you can see the difference yourself, but I just feel that it worked beautifully setting or um, not setting the base. I really, really love it. So I think I'm going to save this white for somebody else instead. I won't use it, but I'm going to continue use the one that I have. So guys, that was everything. I hope you like this video. Please let me know down below if you try this primer, how did it work for you? Are you interested to try it? Uh, what primer do you use every day? Let me know down below. I'm very, very interested in eyeshadow primers or in makeup in general. Please let me know down below all of your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notifi notification bell, and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!